Today I'm talking about um, just doing some progressive steam achievements. Uh, I ran into some problems finding out how to do this, so I thought uh, I would uh, share what I found. Anyways, um, we all know that normally, and I'm assuming you already have Steam integrated, all that. This is this is just on blueprinting achievements. So we all know about the right achievement progress. Um, you know, you, you type in your name, that calls the achievement up in Steam. Now, where I ran into problems is I thought progress was, like, if I put 25 in here, oh, it's 25% of the progress, and I just had to add to that. This is binary. This is either zero or one. Um, it just, it just, it either like ticks and calls the achievement, uh, and it's a one and done. That's it. Um, so if you want a, a progress where you want to actually call Steam stats, um, so say it's like you know, collect ten items to get an achievement. This is what you have to do. Now I'm just in a widget here uh, for testing purposes. I, I created a button and uh, let's walk through this. So first thing you got to do is you're going to cache your achievements, okay? Then on success, we're going to go down. We're going to write to leaderboard. All right. This is the money maker. This is what actually communicates with stats. So that's very important. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to read to leaderboard. Okay. And of course, we need to get our player controller. So I'm just going to copy here. Call that to attach that to everything rather. All right, so um, I'm just, I just called mine test. Now, the, the stat is called test. Now where I ran into a problem um, is that I thought if I just put one here that it would just be adding one each time. And for me that wasn't working. So what I ended up doing was uh, I got my integer up here and uh, I'm going to set it so when you when you your cache your achievement, it's going to set the integer, and then that's going to write it to the leaderboard, right? Okay. So what we got to do is we want to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down my integer. All right. So what's going to happen? We're going to add plus integer plus integer. Connect that to the set. So what we're doing here. So we're going through and we're adding one. Okay. And then, of course, we need to make sure that we attach that to the right leaderboard. Okay, so that's adding one. And that's it. And this, you just, you know, bring that off to, to whatever you want your achievement to trigger. Okay. Now, just one more thing to note. Um, notice that we just have the stat name here. We don't have the achievement name anywhere. That's because the achievement name is in... Um, that's like in your Steam workshop, uh, which I'll, I'll just show you real quick here. Um, so these are my stats. You'll notice that I just have test underscore test. I'm actually putting the name twice because what we have is test and then we're reading to test. So that's kind of tricky. Then we come down here to achievements and you'll see that um, for my test here, I've got the stat right here so it's I'm, I'm calling that that stat and uh, that's that's really all there is to it um, you'll see here that it worked I tested it and it worked uh, I was able to call it um, uh, um, I know it can be very frustrating trying to figure something out and um, there just wasn't much on this so happy developing bye guys